dynamic, and personal. We learn from Jesus that a life entirely devoted to God is not static, but dynamic. To put that in other words, we come to realize that following God is not simply a matter of devising a complete list of what to do and what to avoid, as if following such a list with absolute rigor would be the same as the life that Christ lived. When we look at Christ in the Gospels, we see that Jesus continually surprises his disciples. Jesus often broke social norms for the sake of mercy and yet did not entirely abandon those norms. In spite of our best efforts to circumscribe the Christian life, there is no way to complete the statement, Jesus always, with the exception of behaves consistently with himself, which, though true, is not particularly helpful in questions of practical living. Even saying that Jesus always does what is right, or that he always shows mercy toward others, or that everything he does is good, requires us to take the meaning of those terms from the life and example of Jesus himself. After all, it's not difficult to point to places where Jesus was by no means right, merciful, or good by independently and secularly generated definitions of those terms. Jesus is often harsh with people, not least the Pharisees, made them look foolish, broke the Sabbath, which was a command given by God himself to the people. The point is that in spite of how helpful it might seem if we were to have a definitive list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior so that we would have an infallible rule by which to determine whether an action is right or wrong, such a list does not exist and is actually in contradiction to the dynamic nature of the life of Christ. To imagine that we can contain the Christian life in a list of ethical norms is to collapse it into a static, impersonal code rather than what it actually is, the living, active, and personal God living in and through the believer. Indeed, the fact that Christ is not just dynamic but personal is extremely important. When we say that the life of Christ and therefore the life of Christians is not static, we do not mean that Jesus lived in any way that was random or misleading. The fact that Christian behavior cannot be encapsulated in a series of propositions does not detract from its absolute reality. Jesus is a person who lives consistently with his personal being. It is one of the distinguishing aspects of a person that they do not always do the same thing, but are able to evaluate circumstances and behave appropriately to each circumstance as it arises. Let us look at the issue from another point of view. If we were to say that God behaves in a certain way regardless of changing circumstances, and because of the nature of things, God must do so, what we have done is established a way of behavior, an ethical norm that is not subject to God. Indeed, God is subject to it. God is indeed sovereign even over ethics. This does not mean that God willfully changes his mind regarding ethical behavior so that it is not connected in any way with the nature of God, but that the being of God is transcendent and supreme even over our ethical formulations. God is constant and faithful in every way. Our perception of the Christian life and understanding of God who gives rise to it is not.